everybody. I have something really neat to read today. This is a WL Toys WL915 brushless speedboat. Really cool looking. I like the green color a lot. It also is available in red. It says 45 kilometers per hour. I don't know if I can get the box up here closer so we can see with the camera angle I got it set at. Now brushless boat and it does have a, uh, a form of self riding that we'll discuss here in a moment. Um, but a rather inexpensive brushless boat and uh, really cool. It has this big you know, outboard motor looking here in the back, but it's just your rudder and your, uh, your propeller and it has water that comes in here through the back and comes uh, and it comes in behind the outboard and comes out through the uh, side here. And this is your water cooling for the brushless uh, motor and, ES and the ESC inside. Um, it does, like I said, have a self riding. And what it does is it has these vents here so if the boat were to capsize, these, these will begin to fill with water. And then what it does is the, the water can come out through the back here, but it will, so as it starts to fill, then the boat will want to flip over and go. But the concern is obviously if you slow down a lot, you can start to take on water and get kind of heavy. So you want to make sure you keep this boat moving along pretty good um, so it won't do that. Um, it doesn't come with the stand either. I threw the stand in here from a, WL, a smaller WL Tilly's boat just so I had something to set this on, but it does want to kind of slide off. But uh, it looks a lot better that way. It, it comes with a 3S LiPo. It's 1200 milliamp hour, so a decent size. Uh, I would like to see 4S just to make it move quicker, but uh, it's not bad. Um, like I said, it's 45 kilometers per hour is roughly an upper 20 mile per hour. I think maybe around 28 or so. and. Uh, yeah, it moves along pretty good. Not as fast as my Feloon FT-011, but that is also on a 4S LiPo, and I believe it has a, big, a little bigger brushless motor in it. Um, like I said, this, this battery here uh, will give you about five minutes of run time on it, so I'm going to try to remember to set my uh, smartphone to uh, four minutes just to make sure I have enough time to bring it in because I don't know how long of a low voltage speed it will give you. The instruction manual is very... Uh, poor. There's very little information in the instruction manual for this particular boat. The um, it comes with a standard WL Toys uh, wall charger um, with the 3S port on it, and it takes a couple hours to charge this battery. I think it's about about two to three hours, maybe closer to two and a half hours to charge it. And like I said, you'll get about five minutes runtime out of it. It comes with a few spare. Uh, parts here. Uh, comes with a nut and an extra propeller and some allen wrenches to do repairs on it. Uh, the controller is your very standard WL Toys ground vehicle controller. It, they all look like this with the flames on it. Um, I do like that it has foam on the wheel so you've got better grip. It's got your, th uh, your throttle and steering trim which I would of course like to see wheels. It's easier and, to adjust that and uh, it's a little easier finer tuning than these buttons. Um, I said not a whole lot to that. Let's go ahead and open the boat up real quick here. You, you turn these little tabs and then the, uh, the boat will open up here if I can get a good grip on it. <clears throat> i got to turn this dial on the bottom too, I forgot. you got to turn the dial on the bottom and then the two tabs in the back. And then you'll see there's a really cool looking little brushless motor here and your electronic speed control and the pump for the water and uh, some bullet connectors to the uh, for the power, your Dean's connector, and uh, your little servo for the rudder control for the steering. Um, one thing I didn't mention is, I always like to mention, anytime you get something like a Dean's connector or something, you know, get yourself a hobby grade charger to charge these kind of batteries on a balanced charge. It will charge the battery not only a lot faster, but you're also going to get a lot better charge and a better balance in the cells. So I highly recommend that on anything like this. Because I was able to charge this on my hobby grade charger. <clears throat> and that was already at over 3.9 volts, which is a little high for you know to send that way. But it was half an hour or something. I don't know. You could easily charge this under an hour on a hobby grade charger. So just something to keep in mind. So I think, let's see, I covered this, the flipping over. So yeah. I don't know if this has um, protection against giving it throttle out of the water or not. Um, lots of these will have a little um, metal contacts that make uh, a complete circuit when it's in water and then allow it tilts the propeller it can go. 
I don't see that here, but since I have not done a test run because I don't have a lake that close to my house, these boat reviews, I may well, typically know a little less information because I'm out here uh, doing my very first run. It does have this little plug, which you gotta make sure I was out a little bit. This is to help drain any excess water that might get inside of there. Make sure that's good and pushed in and snug before you take off so you don't take on water into the inside as you're going along. So I think that covers it all. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, one thing I want to mention too is I'm going to try to take my Altel X-Star up here. I don't know if I'm going to or not, but I'm going to try to, to get some footage of the boat as it's on the lake from above. So I'm going to try to do that. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure. I've got it with me. I gotta see if I uh, decide to do that or not. But um, we'll get some footage, at the very least, from my head cam. I can't get to stay on the stand. All right, well, we'll be back here in just a moment for the uh, driver view and maybe some aerial footage too. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, I got the uh, WL Toys WL915 speed boat powered up, so I'm gonna bind it up here and get it out in the water. The propeller does work out of the water, so you need to be mindful of that. It doesn't have that safety feature, so you could you know, injure a finger or something if you bump the throttle out of water. Wonder what that pack of bees is sounds like. Well, I don't know if we're gonna be able to see it because of the sun, but the Altel X Star is up above me filming. So I've got about uh, 17 minutes. I've got it slightly zoomed in at 1080p. I'm just filming it. So I'm going to uh, try to set my smartphone here real quick. Four minutes. There we go. Let me go ahead and make sure we get it bound up first. I'll show you here. It and you see it is, <laughs> it is ready to go. So let's press start. My phone. Let's go ahead and drop the boat in. It is pretty quick. Try to get it underneath the boat, my drone here so we can get some good footage. This boat, this boat is very smooth on the water. It is not, it doesn't bounce or chop, you know, hop around like my Feyloon does. It's not quite as fast, upper 20s, but man, it is nice. And it is under $100. It is not a super expensive boat. I'm not sure the range on this. I would think it's probably 100 meters. I don't recall seeing that. Take it out here on the other side. That hauls butt. Doesn't have the big giant rooster tail like some of the other ones, but hey, you know, it's really smooth. Let's see what it's like in reverse here. It doesn't, the reverse is not much of anything on it. In fact, I'm not sure. It doesn't do much. It was taking on some water there. But it threw it back out. So there really isn't any reverse of much of any on that. A lot of them will do a little bit of a, of a backup and a turn around. I wasn't seeing much of a reverse there. Oh, now we've capsized. Let's see if we can get it to go back over. It should take water in, and there it goes. It's self-righted. Very nice. It does it all on its own. You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to hit reverse and then forward because it's not going to have a V shape where it does that. It is going to fill up with water, and you can self-ride itself. That just got caught when I took too sharp of a turn. It it capsized. There's high top speed. So just take a little bit. Uh, oh, it did it again. Let's, <laughs> let's let it self right. And there it goes. So it's very smooth across the water, but when you do turn, you want to be a little careful because it does want to catch the water at too high of a speed. And then that uh, causes it to capsize. Thankfully, oh, it almost did it right there. I'm not even 
in at full throttle. But it, it self writes pretty quickly, so that feature works really well. Let's see what kind of time we got left here on the uh, on the, the drive. About 30 seconds, so it'll go another minute, but I want to play it safe. I don't want to get this stuck out there, especially if it put a capsize on me. I'm just going to take it easy on the turns. Hopefully we're getting some good drone footage. Oh, and it did it again. And that was me not being careful. There it goes. I'm going to go ahead and bring it in now. There's my timer. I'm going to bring it on over to these to these rocks. I think I got it kind of caught in some Oh, got it up on the rocks. All right, perfect. Well, I'm going to dig that out here in a second. At least that's an easier spot to access it with some of this pond scum and stuff we got growing now that the weather's warmed up. So, I really like this boat. This is really cool and it's not expensive. But as you saw, it does capsize kind of easy. Um, which I've not noticed in a few other people's reviews I watch. I didn't realize it capsized that easily. But there is a little bit of choppiness here today in the water, but not bad. So just be mindful when you're turning this around. You just kind of take it easy, but it will self ride itself. Just be careful towards the, you know, set, set yourself a timer so you know you when to bring this thing in. And five minutes should be safe. I set it at four just to be super safe for this review. So hopefully I get some good aerial uh, footage. And if I did, you saw it alongside with this. So I appreciate you watching and stay tuned for more reviews and have a good day. The power of the dark side.